bother ironing my shirt. Oh. It was Leanne. Simon's not coming. Yeah, well, it's probably a good thing. I don't want any miserable faces on my big day. Oh, poor little thing. I expect he misses his dad. Yeah, we all do. I'm putting my dress on. But step away from the dress lady. I don't want you to give me another heart failure. Yes, and they did a wonderful job with the repairs. Really lived up to the name Invisible Mandy. Yeah, either that or you need your eyes testing. Oh, do you know what? I can't believe my mum's not going to be there. Oh, Peter. I'm here, Mummy. Oh, I know that, babe. Dad, maybe you were right. Maybe we should have cancelled. One thing we've learned is you never know what's around the corner. So if you've got the chance of happiness, grab it with both hands and never let go. Oh, okay, Ken, stop it. You'll start me off. <laughs> Hello, Ken. Morning, everyone. Morning. Oh, is this the beautiful bride? Is that the dress? Yep. Can I have a sneaky peek? Oh, yeah, well, you can, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, it's you I wanted to see. Oh. Wanted to ask a favour. Go ahead. Well, the other morning, I saw you bring the milk in. In your kimono. Oh, I say, Ken. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a cheek, but uh, I just wondered if I could borrow it for a couple of hours. Well, well, it's just that I'm making Michael a Japanese meal, and I, I thought it would help me look the part. Certainly. I'll just go and get it. So, are you going to paint your face white and put knitting needles in your hair and all? Well, I think the kimono will suffice. I'll get it, shall I? Kylie, I'm not being funny, but these nails look like they've been done by a oh, blind man or a drunk three-year-old. Well, here's the polish. It's too thick. Look, I'll start again. Yes. Right, I've just been to the venue. The flowers were delivered at six this morning and everything looks fantastic. Oh. Right. There you go. Oh, thanks. I'll, I'll wash it through and bring it back tomorrow. I'll see myself out. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Oi! What? Uh, hello? Rollers? It's only for my website, you know, the bride on the morning of a big day. Yeah, well, lose the camera. Hey, today's about me, not you. Oh, you could have at least bought me a bottle of champers or Buck's Fizz a summer. <sighs> Show you. But Carla, please just just put me out of my misery. You've been sat here ages. Oh uh, yeah, I, I'm waiting for a delivery. If you must know. <laughs> Rather you than me. Uh. Nori. Oh hello. Hi, morning. Oh, do come indoors. Uh -huh. You're arthritis will be giving you chips. <laughs> the cold doesn't bother me. Thermal undergarments, head to toe. I've made deviled mushrooms on toast. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Emily. I, I can't abandon me post. Well, if I go to the trouble of cooking, the least you can do is eat it. Uh, ju ju just a minute. Uh, did you think you could keep a lookout for me uh, well, just while I nip inside? I'm on my way to work. I'll only be two minutes at the most. He's Cal goes mad when I'm late. You know, I'd have thought with your family's reputation, you would have jumped at the chance of doing somebody a good turn. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, of course. Thank ah. you for the opportunity. <laughs> See you What? You're worried I think you're nosy. I think that's the least of your problems. It's a good speech. You only told me the bad bits last night. Dad had bailed on us. Mum was always tired and emotional. It was always just me and him. We had nothing to our name, but we always had each other. Got to admit, he's no saint. Pulled some stunts in his time. But he's always been there for me when I needed him, supported me by my side, no matter what. I didn't know who you were when I wrote that. I didn't know what you are. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? 
You need to get ready. Oh, down me breakfast in four minutes. No doubt I'll be struck down by a gastric attack for me trouble. Sorry we missed you. Yep, he was in a big mad hurry, said you had to sign for it personally. Well, why didn't you knock on the door? Didn't knock. I didn't hear you. Twice. I find that very difficult to believe because my GP says I have the ears of a bat. Oh, I'm sure there's a surgeon who can fix that for you. Facetiousness is very unbecoming. Yes, and so he's slagging off someone's family. Sure, if my dad found out, he would wipe the floor with you. I can't believe you're really going to wear this. Actually, I look rather fetching. It looks a bit grubby to me. I'm sure Ken's very particular about his personal hygiene. Oh, make us a butty, will you? I'm starving. How's it going over there? Oh, Tracy's chucking her weight about as per. She needs a good you know, slap. You open the fridge expecting to find some at breakfast day. Some eggs, maybe. How's bit she of wearing her hair up or down? Don't know. Audrey was still faffing with it when I left. Sashimi tuna. Nori seaweed and wasabi paste. Well, how else am I to make a Japanese banquet? You try to kill him, or what? Look, he's feeling very down with his health scare hanging over him. I'm just trying to cheer him up a bit. All right, so he gets an oriental feast while I'm tucking into cocoa flipping dinosaurs. Oh, give it a rest, David. It's better than no. Do you know what would be perfect? The chance for me and Michael to spend some quality time together. You know, just the two of us. What about us? There's a pub at one end of the street, a bistro at the other, and a cafe round the corner. You spoke for choice. You can hang the bunting out. I'm off today. Sorry I put you out. I know you're busy with working the kids. Don't want me in your way. No, oh, it's been nice seeing you. How about staying me welcome? No, don't be daft. You're welcome here any time. You two make a lovely couple. These are the best days of your life, you know. You're young. You've got the old world at your feet. Years fly by so quickly. You think you're never going to get old. Old and knackered. All your best times behind you. Now, where did I put my good card in? Best check that bag, make sure she's not nick the family silver. Yeah, too right, because I reckon she had her eye on my socket set, too. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. Proper cack-handed. Glad when this is all over and done with. I bet you will. Tracy has run you ragged over this wedding. Yeah, well, today I'd better go perfectly, otherwise <laughs> I'm for it. I am sure it will. All the effort you've put in. Right, well, I'm all set, so uh, Steve said he'll give me a lift to the venue, so I'll go and give him a shout. Uh, He's gone out. Where? I'm not sure. I just assumed he had a shift at the cab office. Well, he can't leave me in the lurch. Not today. All right, all right. Don't fret. I tell you what, you try and text him, and if you can't get through, I'm sure uh, Tony will take it. Yeah. Mm. Sure, no problem. <laughs> uh, will you do me a favour? Will you just nip upstairs and get my new sling bags? Nude slingbacks. How can a sheep be nude? Well, beige, but it grieves me to say it. <laughs> mm. You two seem happy. Best bit, isn't it? Making up. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. Don't give me that. Your face is tripping you up. I think it's still tricky with you and Steve. Get this wedding out of the way, and then you'll be able to spend a bit of time with each other. I couldn't be less interested. I thought things were usually pretty good in that department. You're not anymore. You don't worry. We all go through patches like that. Your love life can't all be bells and whistles and jumping off wardrobes. <laughs> Give him some time. Cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers, cheers. Congratulations, Tracy. You look absolutely wonderful. Don't I just? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry your mother won't be here to see you in all your glory. Yeah, I shall have to make do with the photographs, I'm afraid. Hmm. Actually, Tracy, I came here to give you a little something. Oh, Auntie Emily, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like it to be your something borrowed. Oh. Thanks. Thank you, Emily. It's a very kind thought. Oh. Is it some sort of spooky Victorian ghost lady? It's a cameo, you daft bat. Ernest gave it to me. He saved up his wages for months. Oh, I've got you some at all. Ooh. A garter, Ooh. some blue. <laughs> I can take off later with his teeth. <laughs> right, I, I think I should leave you to it. I'll uh, see you at the hotel. Yeah, later. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Bye, Emily. Don't be funny. That is gross. Can't hurt Emily's feelings. You have to wear it. Uh, yeah, like where nobody can see it on my knickers. <laughs> of decorum, Kirk. It's a wedding, not a football match. Yeah. A fiver says a dress is really trashy. It's not. She's not one to hide a light under a bushel, is she? But it's cut down to the... Mm, it's actually dead classy. This is Tracy Barlow we're talking about. Your public awaits. Oh, oh. oh fabulous. I told you. Well, that's my fiver out the window. The blushing bride, a perfect vision. That dress is totes amaze balls. Oh, I know. <laughs> How gorgeous am I? <laughs> and me. You both look fantastic. Me! Kirk, you're not going to do the confetti till after the wedding. Sorry. Someone's gone down me cleavage. Aye, well, don't look at me. Oh, come here. I'm just nipping the tire on to see so long. OK. Yeah. Can you give us a leg up, Grandad? Unlike Cinderella, only cooler. Hey, you get that from me, the cool jean. Don't know where I get it from, though. <sighs> You know, I don't think I've ever seen you look as radiant as you do today. Well, I'm happy, aren't I? Proper happy. And it just shines out in me. Yeah, and it's all down to Rob. You know, he's the first person I've met who knows what I'm like and still loves me for it. Well, apart from my mum. And me. And you. Um, can we go a couple of times round the block? You know, the scenic route? What's the scenic route? It's a long way round. I want everybody to cop an eye of our fabulousness! <laughs> Oh, I've got to stop looking at them. I've got half those symptoms. I've been looking for a make it till tea time. Huh. Can I interest you in Titchy Donkey? Is that a trick question? Oh. Cute. <laughs> Could fit two of them in a sandwich. <laughs> you okay? My nerves are shot. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Well, you do realise I'm taking my life in my hands, don't you? Because once Gail gets a sniff of this, it'll be you visiting me in this place. <laughs> Michael Rodwell? Here. Do you want me to come with you? I don't mind. Thanks. I just wondered how you were doing. My bones haven't crumbled just yet. Fizz said we're meeting at Roy's this dinner because you're leaving. Once I've gone, I'm sure she'll be chucking a massive party. You've got to tell her. And Chesney. I don't want the pity. Yeah, but you're the mum, and you're ill. They really need to know. I wasn't there when they needed me. I have no right to expect hope from them. 
Well, you know. Ooh, cheers. Oh, no. I'll take another for me, mate. Bagsy is mine. Bullsy has got a nice bum. I think he was giving you the eye. No. He was. My gay dad's never wrong. You've had that time nigh on 20 years. Oh, you know me. I like to get me money's worth. Yes, I do know you. It's not worth splashing out, is it? They'll probably be divorced by the end of the year. <laughs> You're right there, Paul. You all right, Emily? I, I, I was just thinking about the brooch I lent to Tracy. It is a little old-fashioned. It's the thought that counts. I once tried to make a cameo brooch. Whittling a face on a shell is not easy. Mm. Look more like Jimmy Cagney than Victorian lady. <laughs> Well, you, you won't see that again. <laughs> It'll be sold to the highest bidder. Even Tracy wouldn't be that mercenary. Really? How do you think they're paying for all this? Maybe she sold her soul to the devil. No, I doubt it. Even he wouldn't want that. Oh, hang on a sec, right? Uh, put these somewhere safe, yeah? And, and when we get to the altar, don't do that thing that people always do when they, when they say that they've lost them, yeah? I won't. Oh, my nerves are shot already. Here he is, the condemned man. <laughs> right, can everyone start making the way right. inside, yeah. please? Okay. I'll just... I just need a little minute, OK? It won't be long, I promise that. I just need a bit of fresh air. OK? Love your food, don't you, Ty? Well, don't be embarrassed. I like a man with an appetite. Who can resist for his all-day breakfast? I have to keep an eye on me weight now. Why are you not fat? Is it for health reasons? Fit as a flea, me. Knocking on a bit, that's all. Don't want to be fat and 50. So what time's your train, then? Look at him. <laughs> Can't wait to see back of me. <laughs> You're supposed to say no. It's been lovely to see you, Mum. Yeah, it's been well, all right, really. Yeah, we, we've all had a nice few days together. But, you know, we're stuck for space and that. It'd be great if we had a spare room, but... This is my treat, by the way. I thought you were skin. I sold my iPod to Tracy's shop. Well, you didn't have to do that. I'm not a complete scrounger. I'd like to pay me way. Yes. <laughs> and it's only just beginning. <laughs> Tracy? I'm just savouring the moment, Dad. Mother and daughter shots. Mm. Okay, if we just start with a close up, okay? And then I and think we'll, we'll well. link and get the dresses in. Yeah? I've got some tissues. Sorry, I no. can't stop thinking about Peter. He should be here. Close up. Yeah, people think I'm delusional, can't face facts. No. But I know in my heart he didn't do it. I'm going to appeal, but to be honest, I don't hold on much hope. I have no idea how he's going to survive in that place. Simon's struggling too. I think he's got to spend the rest of his life without his father. Under this terrible cloud. It's tough on you, too. And I'm the one who's got to keep it all together. Even me or I'll carry him for you. Though. I'm not totally decrepit, thank you very much. Are you sure you don't want me to stay to the station? Yeah, it's no trouble. Well, I've got to go that way for spares, anyway. Want to escort me out the neighbourhood, make sure I've actually gone? Of course. 
Sure. Want a frisky before I go? Make sure I've not helped myself to out. Well, you might as well go. Are you sure you don't want us to wait with you? There's no need. I know you've all got lots to do. All right, then. See ya. Keep in touch. See ya. find out. You can polish your shoes as much as you like. They still look as if they're out of a museum. At least they match your suit. shocking discovery threatens to send Scott and Bailey's last case spiralling out of control at nine in the series finale. It's after Alicia Dixon and Mark Wright are on hand with Holly to spring a special surprise surprise next here on ITV. <laughs> <laughs>